Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to try something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm going to take this 5160 coil spring off of a, I believe it was a Toyota truck. I'm just going to forge it out flat, cut it into three different pieces. One piece is going to be annealed, one piece is going to be annealed and hardened, one piece is going to be uh, annealed, hardened, and tempered. Then we're going to lock them in the vise and do some destructive testing. I think I got our spring still pretty much the same width and thickness all the way down. On the next heat, I'm going to take a cutoff tool, cut three pieces, pretty much equal length. And then uh, earlier I said I was going to be annealing these, and what I actually meant to say was normalizing. So, let's get to work. Alright, I'm gonna take this one, we're gonna throw it in the tempering oven, 400 degrees for an hour, and then we'll lock them all in a vise and do some destructive testing. Alright, we're back in the shop with our three pieces. We got one that's been normalized with no hardening cycles. We got one that's been normalized and oil hardened. We got one that's been normalized, oil hardened and tempered. We're going to lock all three of those one at a time in this vise. I'm going to take a hammer and uh, progressively get more and more violent with them until we produce some kind of damage. Right, first one is going to be the uh, normalized with no hardening. Set them to the side for now. Uh, this one is normalized and oil hardened. With no tempering. That didn't take much. Here's normalized, hardened, and tempered, one hour at 400 degrees. Thank you, bro. Yeah, it broke. It took a lot more force to break it. We'll get a close up of the uh, 
grain here in a second. I'm gonna hit this piece long enough. I'm gonna hit it again. It's fun. Our first one is normalized only. It bent over a good bit before breaking. The second one is oil hardened with no tempering. Pretty much broke immediately. Just with a fairly light tap. Our last one that was oil hardened and tempered for 400 degrees for one hour did break but it took a good amount of effort to break it so there we go I guess now we know for sure let me know in the comments if you like this kind of testing. I thought about doing it so again with some different types of steel. Just uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see. And uh, if you don't mind, like and subscribe. Thank you.